just a little bit. Headphones? The head headphones. Hey, babe, you live? Yes. Hey, what's going on, world? It's me again, Ethan Smith, a.k.a. Mr. Ping. Another Saturday soulful session of expression sessions. And you probably wondering, what is he doing and where is Kiki? <laughs> well, Kiki is on the opposite side of me, me. And she's holding the phone for me. This is our one year anniversary. And as usual, Kiki said, babe, you got a topic you know we're going to talk about? I said, no, but I know he's going to give it to me. Babe, you got to hold the camera up. I'm looking. She like, she, be, she couponing, y'all. She am couponing not. and camera working. You know Anyhow, what? Anyhow, <laughs> she said, we have a topic. I said, no, we don't. But we're going to talk about how this is our one year anniversary. We're going to talk about our one year anniversary. So I said, okay, cool. Let me call DJ Knox and tell him how a year has passed since we did this for the first time. And has he watched the video? Does he remember what it was like? Had no idea what we was going to do or how we was going to do it. He said, man, that would be cool if we shot it at the house again the same way we did it before. I said, okay, well, let's make it happen. Let me check with my wife because y'all know. If Kiki didn't let me know it was cool, babe, are you recording me? Because I don't know what she's looking at, y'all. If Kiki didn't let me know it was cool, she's a multi -pastor. Stay focused, yes. If she I didn't let this. me know that it was cool, then I wouldn't be here, y'all. But my wife, my life, she sided with me, even though I know she ain't really want to <laughs> ride with me. Because sometimes I could get beside of me and I could start doing the things that she don't want to see me do. It's just, just being honest, right? But she decided to come with me because she know how much this meant to me. But I had no idea how we was going to do this thing. But she said she was coming, so we said, let's make a day. We're going to bring the family down. We're going to barbecue. We're just going to have a good time during this time. So I got up this morning, y'all. I went out. I went to go do some Uber. Made some good money, too. I made about 100 in like six hours. Don't tell my wife, though, okay? <laughs> made about $100 in six hours. Told my wife had been prepping them all day. I'm going to be there at 4 o'clock because I want to leave. I want to go. I want to get there at 5 because we got a barbecue. Then we got to record our hook, wife, because we got a new hook for the new show to celebrate the new year. Same show. New title, not really. New song, same message, relationship, something going to be new. Okay, just follow me. So I had all these plans and the time was set. Sarge was ready to go. Lock, cock, ready to rock. I'm going to get home at 4 o'clock. My family going to be ready to go. We're going to get in the car, get to DJ Knox house at 5. We're going to barbecue until 6. And that's going to be done, and the family going to eat, and then we're going to set up at 7, and we're going to do expression sessions with the new hook, and everything is going to be great. I had it all down in my mind. But it's a card I have, too, y'all. Insanity versus consistency. Are you getting positive results or negative results? See, a lot of times when I attempt to control my time that I say is my time, I don't get the results that I desire to have. Case in point, I was controlling my time today to say that we was going to get, I was going to get home at 1600, 4 p.m. My family was going to be ready to go, but I can't control my family time. They had a different timetable. So I was mad. I was upset. I was hot. My wife ain't never on time. She don't be paying no attention to the time. I'm ready to go. I ain't get there to 430, though. My excuse was... I knew she wasn't going to be ready no way. I'm giving her extra time. Was I really? Or did I not manage my time? So I was mad and upset the whole time that we drove about 45 minutes worth of time to get to DJ Knox house. I was quiet as a mouse. For real though. Bars. <laughs> yeah, I just did that. Don't worry about it. I was quiet the whole time, like a mouse. We get to DJ Knox house and I commence to going to work because I still got this time clock in my head. I started going to work. I started ripping open grocery bags. I started cutting up cheese to make queso. I started giving DJ Knox food to put on the grill. I had called him early, y'all. Set the grill up, have it hot when I get there because we got to go. We got time to move, right? 
I control my time is what I keep telling myself. And I'm mad this whole time because I don't feel like my wife took control of her time. But I was late. I was late. But I said she needed more time, right? So we get to DJ Knox house. We running around. I'm running around at least. Everybody else relax. I'm running around. I'm getting everything on the grill. I'm getting everything on the grill. I'm getting everything ready. It's time to go. DJ Knox is cooking for me, and he like, man, what's wrong? You seem like, I'm like, man, my wife knew I was going to be home at 4 o'clock. She wasn't ready, though. I was ready to go. You know, military, man, time, you got to be there. If you're on time, you're late. That's what I kept saying. If you're on time, you're late. He like, man, but you can't control everything that happens in your time. I'm like, yes, you can. If you set a time to be somewhere, then you need to get there. She was at home all day. All day, y'all. That's what I was saying to myself. What he mean she couldn't be ready? He like, yeah, okay, I hear what you said. But he really wasn't hearing what I was saying. He was just letting me talk. I got it. But I'm not paying no attention to the time. Because I had plenty of time to go live at 7 o'clock. But, uh... I messed off my time. I messed off my time complaining about her time and I wasn't even controlling my time, the time that he gave me. You Do you hear what I'm saying? 24 hours, 365, 86,400 seconds in a day, 168 hours in a week. You don't even know how many of those hours you sleep. I'm always talking about what time you go to bed, what time you wake up. What time are you doing with your time? But I wasn't managing my own time to start on time for the one year anniversary that was supposed to celebrate y'all and me and her and everything that we've accomplished. But I got so wrapped up in the time that I didn't think that she was controlling and I was losing control of mine. Ain't that funny how that work? Ain't that funny how that work? We often judge the time and the things that people do when we have no idea what we up to. That amazes me. That amazes me. It's so quiet in this room right now. I don't know if I'm doing bad or good, y'all. Somebody throw you a tomato talking. Or do something. Right. I did a snap and you gave me the death look. So I said, let me be quiet. That's, that's, they that's can't me. hear the music, but that's you can. Oh, no, I can hear the music. They, they can't never hear the music. I'm used to listening to the music and talking yeah. to them. They don't know that. That's how I be getting in my zone when I'm doing my Mr. Peen thing. But anyway, y'all, let me get back into the story about this time. The time that me and Tom Ayers were standing in that backyard and we was on the grill and I was whining and crying about my wife not managing her time and he telling me how I can't control time and I said I can't control the time because I set the time and I set the time and I was late. I like that music. I was bars. I'm a rap battle. Let's get some, okay? In my Kevin Hart. Let's go. <laughs> we gonna have fun today. This is our one year anniversary. Knox, do you remember how we did it the first time? Yeah. Do you remember how we did it the first time? But see, this time for this last year or so, we've been on our grind. See, we started out in this room, but then we moved downstairs, and we went from downstairs, then we went to the house, and we moved it all around. But this time, we brought it right back to where it begun, and I, and I had to show myself. I had, I had to catch myself. God had to show me. Me being big me, want to control me, on time me, let's go me. But now I got to stand here in front of me and y'all and talk about how I dropped the ball. Complaining about my wife when I wasn't controlling the time in my life. And I know it sounds like I'm talking about me, but if you close your eyes and you listen to me, I bet you hear a little bit of you. You're going to hear a little bit of you because you complained about somebody's time too. But you're not controlling the time that's given to you. See, we say we want these nice things. We want a good relationship. We want a good job. We want a million dollars. But we won't put in a million hours. You won't even put the 10,000 hours in that it said it becomes an expert. Because you're busy saying, I got to go to work. But you're not working with the time that he gave you to do something that's true to you. I feel like I'm losing my sound in my microphone. I can't. Okay, there we go. We back. Don't worry about it. It's my it's my uh, little bit of OCD that's messing with me. I complained to Tommy about my wife and her time. 
And then I had to slow down as God was talking to me, and we didn't start on time because the time we were supposed to start. Me and Thomas was up here not really having a heart. We was just wasting some time talking about some stuff that didn't mean no time. And then he asked me what time it was. And I had the audacity to have a little nasty attitude when I said it's 6.52. As if I hadn't been looking at this new watch. G-Shock, by, by the way. Frank gave it to me. It was a gift. Shout out, Frank. Right. Shout out Frank. <laughs> Love you, brother. Right. We spent some time together. That's my man Frank. He gave me a G Shock because he knew I would never buy a G Shock. I like clocks and watches and all, but I don't have time to spend that type of money on that. Okay, y'all. Let me get back to the story though. Complaining about my wife and God in that moment showed me my life. And I told Tommy as I was quiet the whole ride over here in my feelings. It reminded me of the other day when my wife asked me, uh, do I, do I believe my own message? Do, do I believe my own message? Do I really believe to show up to blow up? Do I really believe the AYG? Do I really believe the PSP? Do I believe the JBY? The funeral, the failure, the insanity versus consistency. Do I believe in me? Do I believe that this time that I have right now, it's the time for me to shine like the diamond that I am? Do you believe that this time is the time for you to shine like the diamond that you are? Do you believe it's your time? See, I was wrapped up in somebody else's time and not taking advantage of my time. I don't want to take the time to sit down and write out a speech because I say I'm extemporaneous E. <laughs> but extemporaneous E may not get the professional pay E. So I got to slow down and take control of me. You got to watch your time because it's time for you to get control of your life. I got five kids and a wife. Listen to me, y'all. This woman has slept on the floor with me cried at the door with me, went through two, three, four wars with me. Do you hear what I'm saying about time? It's time that I wake up. It's time that I stop playing with Lady Luck. It's time that I really trust love. To give it to God, to the man up above. Time be running out, man. You think you got all the time in the world. But the only time that you truly have is this time that you in and this moment of your time. It's your mind. You get to control the thoughts. But I had the audacity to have hardness in my heart about my wife's time when I wasn't controlling mine. But why am I saying all this, y'all? Why am I saying this to y'all? You have this time in your life right now to take control of your life. You have this opportunity to change your life. I got this opportunity to speak this raw and this pure in front of my wife. Not having no idea what she thinking or what she feel. Because I'm an emotional guy, for real. For real, though, I check my assessment. I'm a high eye. That's a flight attendant. That means you want to be all making the people feel happy and free. Life of the party. E. Get some bars. All I mean, day. All day. Talk your junk today. We're going to get a little bit of Ethan and a little bit of EJ. The good part, y'all. I'm feeling this, T. I don't, I, I'm feeling this. This is like a buy EJ part two. This is about you finding you. This is about living your life. This is about having a wife. This is about really believing in love. This is about God from above. This is about you and him. Not about all of them. Live the life that you have to live. Give the love that you are called to give. Appreciate the time that you live. We only talking about time. This is our time. This is the time we move forward. This is the no more time for crying. This is the no more time for whining. This is the no more time for his fault, your fault. This is the time for what are you taught? What are you teaching yourself? What is the knowledge of self? What do you believe? What do you beloved? What do you love? What are you hearing from the man up above that it's time for you to do something in your life? 
See, my wife is looking to me. My wife is supporting me. But I got to believe in me. You got to believe in you. You got to know that this time in your life is the truest time in your life. Because it's the only moment that you can control in your life. I'm sorry, DJ Killer Mike. I'm over here like Bilal from House Party. I keep hitting the DJ turntable, <laughs> y'all. You're like, ooh, Dragon Breath, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is my time. Y'all got me. All I'm talking about is time. Let me turn around right here because you're moving around unless you wanted a side view for you and the crew. I mean, I can stand like, no, nah, y'all. We, we couldn't <laughs> see you. The microphone was in Oh, the way. okay, cool. I'll go back this way. Thank I remember you. Tom had sent me a picture of that. You remember that picture you drew? That was from the first time? Yeah, or was that from the downstairs time? No, we were up here. First time. Mm -hmm. This is the one-year anniversary. I want to thank God. And like Snoop Dogg said, I want to thank me for actually driving to Tom Man's house that day and not being afraid to tell my wife I was coming down this way. To do I don't know what, okay? But I took a chance that day. And in that time that day, he pressed record. And when he pressed record, he played it back. And he put play. And then I heard myself in a way that I had never heard me before. And then God starts speaking to myself. And he said, you got so much more. He just wanted me to tell you to let him come through. Open up the door. Let him in. You got so much more. So when he played it back for me and I started to hear E and I started to realize that I was putting time in that I was spending with my friend perfecting the craft or something my love, that it was a gift from the man up above, that's when I realized that I could do me. But I'm going to tell y'all something, y'all. The enemy, the devil, the mind, it's tricky. He plays with your time all the time. Man, listen to me. Oh, I like that. That kind of slowed me down a little bit. I guess this is how rappers feel. No time to take control of the week. Y'all let me know if I'm going too far. It ain't gonna matter. I'm just gonna go farther. It's like a little delay. Can you speed that up? I don't know what it is. What? Let me know. Don't let me know. It don't matter. Me know. It don't matter. matter. I'm, I'm gonna go anyway. far. Oh, yeah. It don't, it don't matter. I'm gonna go farther. Back, back, back. Where I get. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Right. Because here's the thing that I'm talking about. Oh, man, that's weird. Okay, what is that? They're like alien voice. Don't worry about it. Leave it there. I'm going to learn how to adjust to the time. Okay. We'll play and play with a little bit. Okay. No, I think do the I'm not looking to be a rapper. So listen, to everybody that support us, I really appreciate it. My wife, my life, we appreciate it. We definitely have some big things coming in this next part of our time. But this is the time for me to really just free myself, for me to just JBY, to do what my wife asks me, to believe in me, to be the natural high I eat. Flight attendant, party boy, get some E. But I got a wife who supports me, who strong, solid Tim Key D. See, she controls her time, even though I was just talking about how she ain't in charge of her time. What I say about control her time, she's timely at getting things done. How do y'all think these videos come out every day? In my email, it wasn't EJ. You know I'm not doing that. <laughs> I be too busy saying I'm freestyle. I got my head to the back. I don't be doing all that, but God gave me somebody who do. That's why I love you, boo. See, my wife balanced the bank account down to a penny, even when I ain't bringing home anything to add. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? All I'm talking about is time. The time that's happened over the last year. The time the things that's happened in my life. How I was crying and praying to God in the month of September 2019 when I thought I was about to lose my wife. Y'all remember, don't you? I told you we went on a cruise to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. We had a little fight early in the day for the money we spent. Then we went to the pool by the water. Oh, God, I'm tearing shit. <laughs> and we had a makeup. I'm sorry, Killer Mike. Please don't break it. Didn't you just hear me say the way my bank account is set up? <laughs> I gotta check in with the papers. <laughs> and I can pay you today. <laughs> 
I hope everybody having as much, much fun as me because this is me being free. I don't know if I'm for you, but I know I'm being true. And as Frank said, I'm the Prince of Seven Mile. And when you're the prince, the people usually like you because you're not stressing it about the time. You're worried about impressing some positivity up on the people's mind. All you want to do is make them smile, get a little buck wild, have a little bit of free time with your time, relax and enjoy your adult time. Because these kids will drive you out of your mind. <laughs> we just having fun today. This is our one year anniversary. I can't believe it. Sometimes I don't even see this in me. See, I still see the guy who was breaking girls' hearts. I still see the guy who was afraid of the dark. I'm talking for real, for real, afraid of the dark. Y'all at like 36 years old. Feeling like Freddy was going to get me. The devil probably had too much control of my soul. I'm just being real with y'all. I'm just being real with y'all. The last year of my life has been a wonderful time. But the enemy has been attempting to make me believe in my mind that I'm the same guy that who left in 2015. Listen to me, y'all. Life, it can be mean sometimes. But every moment in time that you can take control of your mind and you can combat your mind with the things that you have accomplished in your life, then you can move further in life. It's like David Goggins said. You got to look into your cookie jar. You got to look at those things you won at. You got to look at that time that you was on top of the world time. Everybody felt that time where they felt like they was winning. Everybody. Somebody on there talking some stuff? What they saying over there? Nothing. Ain't happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Happy anniversary! Thank nice you. watch. Nice G Shock. Thank you. Be the star in your own movie. Don't be an extra in your own movie. Ain't no way I'm gonna be no extra. Extras don't get enough time. It's my time. That's hot, dude. And they say the enemy. DJ Knox over the here enemy is a crazy. tricky and deceptive force that you have to always remember is trying to mess with you. Okay. 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 So check this out. My wife yeah. said, she said, somebody said the enemy is always in destructive force yes. trying to mess with you. And we going back to this time, y'all. 86,400 seconds in a day. I want you to think about that. 86,400 seconds in a day. What have you done with your day? What have you done with your day that's moved your life forward? In an aggressive, in an aggressive, positive way. No, no more time to play. And I know I'm playing with these words because this is this is my life. This is what I'm called to do. This is what I'm supposed to be doing, y'all. You don't want me to be on here all stiff, like, hey, what's going on all the time? You wanna, you wanna see if it's still in there. What's really on my mind? I get weak too, y'all. I feel like Les Brown said, I'm a, I'm positivity to the world and I'm behind on my bills and my dreams. Well, here it is. You know what I mean? It's time for you to get the real Ethan Smith, aka Mr. Ping. With another daily dose positive post. With a little bit of motivation and inspiration for your situation to free and relax your mind as if you are on a vacation. But not only when you on that vacation, we're going to switch that mind to a transformation. Because in order to transfer your mind, you got to do something else with your time. Now was the time for you to be to the BRM. Now was the time for you to take for yourself from basically just waking up and living life. Complaining about your wife life and her time, E. Now it's time for you to stop just basically waiting up and wait what they saying on the news. Now it's the time for you to start to taking control of your time and battling for this thing you call life. Hey, now, you remember when we was in, uh, we wasn't there together, but you remember basic training, right? And that yep. first four weeks, you was in basic training. You was getting uh, marching down, live, live. You was doing all that, learning the rank structure. You was getting the basic indoctrination into the military, into the armed forces. And then around week four, you rolled over into basic rifle marksmanship. Now, they told you, all you Kentucky boys, 
You you Kentucky Winkage boys, you Texas boys who think you can shoot the, the wings off a net. All you Detroit, Chicago, New York City, LA sideways drive-by boys. We gonna teach y'all about the basics. Rifle marksmanship. And they taught us the basics, y'all, for about three and to four weeks. But you've been, been, been taught the basics of your life for four years, 24 years, 34 years, 44 years, 54 years. Basically, somebody has told you how to live your life. Dr. Bruce Lipton said, he's a, he's a neuro theorist, uh, a, a neuro... I can't even pronounce the word right now. A, a neuropsychologist? Look him up. He on YouTube. Dr. Bruce Lipton, right? He said the mind is programmed between the time, the age frame of zero to seven. And then we live that life for a while. But anyhow, let me, let me, let me get back to the time. Basic training time. Four-week time. Learning about the rifle time. Focus time. But then there became a time in our world where September 11th happened. And then Iraq and Afghanistan happened. And I went from basically training how to use my weapon to prepare for battle. My whole mindset changed from basically just getting up, going to the range, hoping that I shoot my 26 at a minimum to get my marksmanship so I could go sit down, eat my MRE, JBY, just be me, kick it back with the boys, because I really wasn't about all that gun stuff, no way. I just wanted to shoot, get it over with, right? But after September 11th happened, something changed. We went from preparing for the basics to preparing for battle. I went to being in rooms where I was breaking down M249 saws blindfolded with no lights on. I went into rooms where I was breaking down 240 Bravo shooting 762 armor piercing incendiary rounds blindfold, no lights on. Do you hear what I'm telling you? I was preparing my mind for battle for something I had never been through. See, the basics wasn't going to work no more. You getting ready to go into war. Every day of your life that you wake up and you going in life, you going into war. So I dare you to start preparing for battle. I dare you to get your mind right, get your mind ready for this thing called life and this time of your life. I went from the basics to a battle-ready mindset. It's the B to the BRM. So as I transition to learning all these weapon systems and 50 cals and Mark 19, the day had came while well, I was on the scene, Baghdad, Iraq, 2006. Who the hell could imagine that? I didn't. I'm from Detroit, Seven Mile, West Side. No, no doubt, all day. Little Black EJ, who never stayed on the block, <laughs> always running around, nowhere to be found. I'm just being real. I'm having fun today. Y'all about to get it. I ain't even playing. Listen to the message because it's here. Don't look at the messenger. Listen to the message because I ain't talking about my life. I'm talking about my life to inspire your life because you can hear a part of my life in your life because it's a time in your life where you didn't appreciate your life. You might be a man like me and you might have blamed your wife. We do it all the time. We say, we, we put the stamp of approval on them. If your wife tell you it's seven brothers, you automatically know it's 7.30 because women can't be on time. Can I get some? You know how we get down. <laughs> you know how we get down. You know how we get down. And women, they lie too. Telling you they going to be on time. No one ain't telling the truth. Come on now. Just tell me 7.45. That way I can watch the game. And then I ain't got to be mad the whole time we going out, you know? But anyhow, from a basic to a battle-ready mindset, now I'm in Iraq, and now it's time to fight. Now you didn't woke up again. God has blessed you another day in your life. Now it's time for you to fight your life. Okay, somebody might have got coronavirus right now. Somebody might have got furloughed and lost their job right now. Somebody don't know how they're going to feed their kids right now. People is dying every day. But see, life is basically telling you this is how it's supposed to play. This is how it's supposed to play out for you. Nah, that's not true. 
God said, I came to give you life and give you life more abundantly. So if you don't feel like you're abundantly free, then that life that you live in, it's not meant for thee. I wanted to say me, and then you didn't rhyme, so God gave me D. <laughs> there y'all go. Hey, okay, nah. Don't, don't worry about it. I'm going to keep on going. The mic is hot, and I don't believe that you could leave it cold. That's what I was told. Or at least I heard it somewhere that I read. Back to the basic mindset. Because, see, even though my mind is telling me to be in a little fear what the people think, your emotions, and what they saying, you don't know. But you just can't be quiet about your life no more. I dare you to get into this B to the BRM. Start trusting him and stop listening to them. Prepare your life for battle today. It's time out. Ain't no more time to play. I'm telling y'all. This is all part of the breaking down my life so I can truly love my wife and trust my wife because the enemy is something negative is attempting to steal your life. God didn't create you just to be average. No, no, no. You're not Bugs Bunny. Stop chasing those fucking carrots. Yeah, I said it. That one for kids. But kids eat those fake carrots too. Get them the organic ones, okay? H-E-B, man. They nice. Oh, wow. I just gave H-E-B a sponsorship. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. We can edit that out. That's the power of recording. I like it. Beep. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> but no, seriously. That message was brought to you by Mr. Peen LLC and the good people of Mr. Peen LLC. Thank you very much. <laughs> that, now, she, y'all heard her yeah, say no that. Fast, no fast. That's recorded too, right? Because when we get to, if I get a bill, she's not going to be saying that. Let me get back on track because I don't want to keep y'all too long past y'all time. And I really want y'all I really want y'all to know that we appreciate this time that you share with us. We really hope that this is blessing you the way that it is blessing us. See, this time and this time of year, it's, it's really time to be full of cheer because there's a lot of sadness and craziness going around. But for real, y'all, haven't that just been just been happening since the beginning? They, they got us looking at the wrong, they got us looking at life the wrong way. They got us feeling like life is just really, I hate to say this, but I got to say it. They, they got us feeling like life is all playing the games. They making you think you can really take a time out like the NBA. But ain't no time out in that 86,400 seconds in a day. God don't play. He above time. I, that, that's why I keep it on my mind. I'm attempting to control it. Knowing I ain't got a grip of it in my hand. Because I ain't took control of this man, the spiritual man, the physical man. I got to give this man to that man. And then I got to follow his plan. I got to give him a plan, walk it out a little bit. He going to order the steps and show me the plan. Habakkuk to it too. Write the vision, make it plain so somebody could carry it. That don't mean write it and take off running while you writing it, okay? So Knox was kind of right. Sort of a little bit of a way. I'm going to give him that because it's, you know, it's hard to let go. But he was right. As much as you schedule your time, you can't control all the time around you because time is outside of you. It doesn't need you. It functions with or without you. Change is inevitable to you. I was talking to my son the other day about how I need to get him an iPad, a MacBook, and all this digital currency money stuff so he didn't know how to play in this game of life. See, we'd be crazy to be so so firm and rigid and old from the time that we grew to, to, to not see what our kids are going through. Time changes every moment, every second of the day. The way that you really get to play in life is you, you ask God, what am I supposed to do with this life and show me how to control this life? But you got to ask them that daily. That's like Romans 12 and 2. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind daily. And even if you don't believe in God, you believe in Buddha, you believe in Allah, the universe and spiritual power up above, 
All of us have a time when we've experienced love and we felt something warm. We felt the higher power inside of us telling me what to do or what I, what I, you know, uh, hugging me in my crazy times for the shit that I've been through. For the times in my life that I, that I walked out on my wife, y'all. For the times in my life that I remarried my life. Understand that at all this time in your life, it's a bigger plan for your life. And someone or something for some of you is in control of your life. But the life that is giving you, it's giving you free will. You just got to give him your heart. That's the deal. <laughs> That's the deal. You just got to give him your heart. See, God ain't a, he's not a judge of, of, of uh, your car, your house, your, 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 uh, how much money you donated. Every man is measured by the way that they heart. See, the enemy wants you to believe in school all the time. I just got to be in my groove. Bow. Yeah, get some. Like Martin, y'all. That wasn't really a good one. But anyhow, I just I just wanted to get that in there. And, uh, get you some of that. Okay? <laughs> he wants he want you to make you feel like you got to be chasing all the things around you. You know, you, you have to be dancing to somebody else's tune. But God just really wants your heart. He just want to know what you're doing with this time with your heart. See, I love my wife all the time, but I don't like her all the time. But it wasn't really that I wasn't liking her because I thought she wasn't on time. I wasn't liking me. Because I wasn't on time either. And a lot of times, we should take that time that we're farting somebody else about their time. And discover who we are in this time of our life. You have to understand that you truly are love. You are God's masterpiece. There is no one other like you. No one can stop you. No one can define you. Nobody can tell you who you're supposed to be. Do, 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 do you understand that? I, and I know it's scary because you was in, indoctrinated into this version of E. You know the name. You know what they said about E. But I'm still learning me. So how you going to tell me who I am in this time? Do y'all do y'all understand what I'm saying? Does that make sense to anybody? Anybody in the house know what I'm talking about? I'm just saying. All the time that you have in your life, you should be searching and asking God, what do he want for your life? And it's going to be some scary-ish that he call you to do in your life. Ain't no other way you get the blessings from above. That's it. They say he who finds a wife finds a good thing and earns favor from the Lord. They say earn favor. That means you got to do something to earn something. So that means he got to test you. Okay, you done found something. Now I'm going to put you through some stuff now. She ain't no time there yet, that boy. How you feel about that? You don't like it there so much. Oh, yeah, I'm in my country. Yeah, I just <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't, don't y'all worry up. about it. You just going to get what you got to get for your issue, baby. Okay? Don't worry about it. Don't, y'all should see the look on my wife's face. I told her I should have been recording her while she recording me. <laughs> But no, no, seriously, man. The the time that that he's giving you, it's it's your time. It's been one year, one year since I stood in his room on that side, and he went live on Twitch and some other stuff that I didn't even know about. I, I really, I really forget it. I really couldn't believe this. All this was coming out of me. I said forget it because these words just keep naturally rhyming like I'm Nelly. I'm the lay, I'm the lay, yeah, yeah, baby. ABC bubblegum rap. God said he will use the symbol to conform the wise. So here we go. If it flow, then let it flow in. My wife said, you got your beat, now you can flow. You know when you get your beat? When you get off of their time and you get on God's time. Now is your time. 
It's time for you to throw your lasso and grab a hold of the dreams that you want. Grab a hold to the life that you want. Grab a hold to the things that you deserve. Stop playing with this thing called life and this time called life. You worried about what they saying on the news and you don't know when your life going to end. Are you serious right now? God is probably really your truly and your only friend. Yeah, I know. I hate to say it to some people, but that's real though. Let you cross somebody, you'll break their heart. See where you at when you all by yourself in the dark. You're going to be calling out to God in that time of your life. Asking why, God? Why my wife? Why my wife leave? Why my husband leave? Why my friend who say they was my friend do that to me? All I'm saying is you need to get with the God that's in you so you can learn what he really calling you to in this time of your life. And that's when you truly earn the blessings of having a wife. That's when you truly earn the blessings of living your life. That's when the abundance come. But you got to run through the, through the slum. You got to go through the dirt and the grind. This ain't easy. Can't nobody tell you how to get to success. You got to go through some mess. It's going to be hard. You going to feel embarrassed. You ain't going to know if this is what you're supposed to do. But you got to do it anyway. That's why they call me what they call me. That's why I'm EJ. Because I've always did it my way. You can't be afraid to take time of this time of your day. I don't care what they say. This is my life. I ain't got no more time to play. I'm 43 years old. It's something I need today. And I don't know what you want for yours. But it's time for me to go get mine. Ain't no more time to be wasting time. The enemy can't play with my mind. Yes, I believe what I wrote down and what I say. Yes, I believe I can have it my way. This ain't got to be Burger King, but I get it from the man up above. Because I am his masterpiece. I am love. I am valuable. I do have a purpose in this life. That is why he gave me a wife. This is something I'm supposed to do. And he calling me to tell you that it's something you're supposed to do too. But you got to believe in you today. I don't give a fuck what they say. No matter what others may think of you. You just keep being you. You got to uplift yourself today. You got to promote yourself today. You got to be your own cheerleader today. You got to stop playing with this thing called time today. And for real, for real, go get it and have it your motherfucking way. Because God will make room for you in this world. He used everybody. Motherfucking easy. He had a jerry curl and he was in the White House. So stop playing with me, a motherfucker rich, off of Mickey Mouse. You don't even want mice in your house. Mm -hmm. But you want to go to the park and play today? That's good. This is my life. I ain't got no more time to play. Mm -hmm. You ain't got to believe me in what I say. But it ain't about what you say. It's about what he say. And I'm going to get my life that he want me to have anyway. Whether you believe that or not today. It ain't about what they say. It's about what you say, and it's about what he say. He who lives in me is greater than he who lives in this world. He who lives in me don't follow the time in this world. That's why your life don't happen on your time. It happened on his time. But now is the time for you to hear what he's saying to you. What he's calling you to. It's something. We all have a purpose. It's something. It's something that I'm called to do. It's something that you called to do. I believe in you. You got to believe in you today. You got to know that the God you serve, he really don't play. This ain't Burger King, y'all. But I promise you, if you trust him, you can't have it your way. I'm a living witness today. It was all about the B to the BR whim, doing it my way. Now I'm preparing for battle. No, no, no more quiet dark sounds. Do I get rattled? No, no, I'm not scared of the dark no more. 
I know I'm a liar. You, you heard me on this mic. I'm like, oh! You heard me. I'm not playing no more. So yeah, little black EJ all grown up. No more managing, driving two men in a truck. Real I don't true. even date a light-skinned girl, ex-wife who people think had a big butt. Some of y'all might think I'm a nut for the way I'm playing today. But I'm serious. This time in your life, ain't no more time to play. People gonna say about you what they wanna say anyway. So let them say it to my face. Because I'm going to do it my way. And I dare you to do it too. I dare you to just believe in you. But let me make myself clear when I say do it your way. See, I believe I can do whatever I want to do. As long as I'm not disrespecting or belittling you. So don't get my words twisted when you say EJ said just be you. Mr. Peen said just be you. But make sure you is treating others the way that you would want them to do to you. This is your time in your life. Do you know what today is? It's our anniversary. So I need you to wake up. <laughs> Party up, get up, and celebrate your life. Because this is the anniversary to the new beginning. And this 86,400 seconds of time in your life. This is my time. Because it's time for me to go. I stay on here for like three, four hours. My wife will be saying, uh-uh, no more. We got to go. I go home, y'all. I thank y'all for sharing this anniversary time with me. I'm going to make sure I turn the camera around so y'all can see Kiki. Y'all see that she really here. But please hear me, man. It's the second half of the year. Don't even worry about 2021. Don't even worry about 2020. Don't worry about next week. Don't worry about yesterday. Worry about the time you in right now. And be grateful and every single way because this thing called life it ain't no game man this is a war that we battle every single day so be to the brm man take your mindset from a basic ready mindset to a battle ready mindset well, you writing down your life tonight for what you going to do tomorrow. If God wakes me up willingly, I'm going to at least attempt to have some type of plan, y'all. All the time might not go your way. But please, please, please start scheduling you and your day and have a little fun any and every way in this time of life, this game that we play. Because y'all already know, we all leave some motherfucking day. That's my time. No more time to play. I got to go home and I got to listen to my mind and see what everybody going to say. But guess what? Ethan and EJ, a.k.a. Mr. Ping, we came to play. We came to have fun. So I hope this motivation and inspiration was something for your mind. As the free to relax your mind. Yeah, I forgot it. <laughs> Gee, I was finna try to fake it. Not today. So hopefully this motivation and inspiration was something for your situation. To free and relax your mind as if you are on the vacation. Hey, on the vacation, mind transformation. Hey, hey. on the vacation, hey, mind transformation. Hey. hey, on the vacation, hey, mind transformation. Hey, it's the B to the BRM. On the vacation, 
Hey, mind transformation. Hey, hey. on the vacation. Hey, mind transformation. Hey. It's the B to the BRM. I'm out. Peace. Hey, how you doing?